These amazing images were all created with artificial intelligence, specifically an online AI tool called Design. There are some powerful features inside of Design, and in this video I'm going to cover the basics of getting started, and I'll go over the main features. Now there's a free option, and there's also some paid options, so you can create an account and get started right away. Now I'll put a link to Design in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link, and that just means that if you purchase the Design subscription, I would receive a small commission. Let's jump in and check out Design. All right, first things first, let's check out the main page. When you first log in to Design, you're gonna see a screen that looks like this. There's a menu along the left-hand side, and then you're gonna see recent projects here at the top. Now, I don't have any recent projects sitting here, but I'll add some in as the video progresses. There's also these AI tools listed right here in the middle of the screen, so you can simply click once and it'll jump into that little room in the house where you can use those AI tools. Now, you can check out the pricing options on the left-hand side. There's a little pricing button right here, and when you open up the pricing, you can see that there is a free plan. There's not even a credit card required, and it gets you 32 regular Q credits per day. So you can come back each day and use Design completely for free. I'm currently on the Creator plan, and so I get 3,000 Fast Q credits a month. And you can see your credits sitting over here on the left-hand side. The first feature is a text to image feature and we can see here on the main page to get to that feature it's right underneath AI tools. I'm going to click text to image right here. Now you're going to get to a screen that looks like this. Over on the left hand side you're going to see a couple things. One is a styles menu right at the top. When you click on the styles menu right now it says flux one. When I click on that you're going to see a whole bunch of different styles down below and make sure to scroll down because you'll continue to see style after style after style. There's so many different styles that you can use. It's really quite impressive. The other piece is a text window right here. When I click inside of it, it'll open up and I can type in something here. Now I'm just gonna leave it. It says here a transparent perfume bottle eloquently sits on the center of a wooden table and it goes on here. And I'm gonna click generate just to show you what this looks like. Okay, and we can see now the images have been generated on the right hand side. When I hover over the first one, you'll see it pops up. When I hover over the second one, you'll see it pops up. And there's little menu items right here on the right hand side. You can download it, you can save it, you can share it. Now, if you'd like to place this on your canvas, you simply double click it, and now you'll see it's been placed here on the canvas. I can move it around, I could rotate it, I can make it larger or smaller. That's a beautiful picture of a transparent perfume bottle. It doesn't need to be a huge complex prompt either. Here I'm going to type in cat wearing a dress. I'm simply going to delete this off of my palette. I'm actually going to pick a different style here. I'm going to scroll right on down and I'm going to pick retro nor chromatics and now I'll click generate. And here we can see the images now are generated on the right hand side. Here's my cat with a dress. It gives me four different options in this case. If I like one I can simply click download or I can double click and that will now place it on the canvas. Very cool. So what happens if you're not super creative and you're struggling to fill in this text prompt? Well, there's this smart prompt feature here that's like a little assistant that'll help you. So I've typed in here, warrior fighting in the middle of the street. I've got a manga sketch set here for my filter and I've activated this smart prompt. So now I'm gonna click generate. Okay, and we can see the results now are coming in. I love these results, they're awesome. This is a warrior standing in the middle of the street. I'm gonna pick this one, I'm gonna click it. It's gonna go into my canvas. But I wonder, what was the machine thinking when it generated this image? Well, I can go up here to the top right-hand side, and there's a little eye right there, a little info button. And when I click on it, check this out. This is the actual prompt that was used. Look how much more detailed it is than what I wrote over on the left-hand side. I just wrote warrior fighting in the middle of the street. The AI took that and expanded it out. This smart prompt is like having an AI assistant who's got endless creativity to help you create the images that you want. Another AI tool I like to use is the image to image feature. And to use that feature here, I'm gonna go down to AI tools on the main page and I'm gonna click image to image. Okay, and when you get to this screen, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. There's a big menu along the left-hand side and there's a picture that I did not put in the middle. This is just an example picture. You can replace this picture of a pineapple with your own image. So I'm gonna click this button to replace my image. Okay, so here I've uploaded a very famous photo of Marilyn Monroe, famous movie star, and now I'm gonna type into the prompt window right here. Okay, so I've typed in a beautiful princess standing in a medieval castle. Okay, next up I'm gonna pick my filter that I'm gonna use, and at the top here I'm gonna click, 
and then I can scroll all the way around and I can see what sort of filter I would like to use. Here's one called Lively Stickerism. I'm gonna pick that and now I'm gonna click Generate. All right, and the results are in. We can see here over on the right-hand side, we've got four completely different sticker type illustrations that have come back. I really like the way these look. You can see the hair is pretty similar on this one to the original Marilyn Monroe picture. I'm gonna double click this one, and now that can go inside my canvas. I can simply click on the Marilyn Monroe picture, click delete, and now I can use this as my design going forward. Okay, so I'm gonna run this one more time, but in this case, I'm going to click on this face match feature on the bottom left, and that's really gonna make this face come into play with the results. So I'm gonna use my image to image filter here. I'm gonna do modern professional. I'm gonna type in business woman, and I'm going to click generate. Okay, and the results are in, and we can see the face is almost identical here. It's much closer to Marilyn Monroe. Now the hair is different because I used a filter that says business professional. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna run this through one more time. I've picked a filter that says color block chic and I've typed in my text is astronaut. Now I'm gonna click generate. Okay, and we can see here the results are a combination of the filter and the text. We can see here this is a astronaut view of Marilyn Monroe. Very cool, that face is almost exactly the same as the original, but the AI really has some fun using the filter and the text to make this a really beautiful piece of art. That's awesome. A really neat feature is the image to video feature. And to get to that, it's pretty straightforward here on the main page under AI tools, there's an image to video button, I'm gonna click it. Now it defaults to this handsome man sitting on a boat, but you can replace this with your image. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna click and I've replaced it with this picture of this model. And now I can type in the image to video text prompt and it's given me an idea here. It says keep foreground at the same position, no camera movement, one man. I'm gonna type in one woman and I'm gonna click generate. Okay, and my image has now been converted into a video which is over here on the right hand side and I can click the little play button here to preview it. And we can see here that's pretty remarkable considering all I gave Design AI was one photograph of a person. When you consider the shadow, and the movement, that's pretty remarkable. I'm gonna click close, and now I can download this five second video right here. Another AI tool I like is the AI eraser. I'm gonna show you how that looks. And the main page here under AI tools, I'm going to click this little button here. It says AI eraser. Now it gives you a default picture, but you can replace this with your own image, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click the little button here and I've downloaded a picture from Rome and you can see here the Tiber River and there's a boat right in the middle of the river. I'd like to remove that boat. So I'm gonna use the AI eraser tool to do this, circle around the area you want to select. So I'm going to circle around the boat. Now you can see what's been selected is over in the erasure area on the left-hand side and now I'm going to click generate to remove it. Okay, and we can see the results here over on the right-hand side. I'm gonna hover over the first one and we can see it's replaced the boat with some water. The second one, it's replaced the boat with some different water. The third one, and then the fourth one was kinda cool. They actually replaced the boat with another object entirely. Kinda cool. So you can pick which one you like. You've got lots of options here. And by double-clicking on it, I can then put it on the canvas and I can insert a new boat or I can continue to modify this image as needed. There are a ton of additional tools inside of Design. Check this out. These are all tools that are inside of the Design Artificial Intelligence. You could spend hours and hours having fun and creating and letting AI do the heavy lifting for you. I'll put a link to Design in the video description below. I love using this program. Highly, highly recommend. Check it out today. Here's another video. Thanks a lot for watching.